All right, let's talk about WordPress themes. Now, WordPress themes, essentially what a theme is, is it allows you to give your site a whole new look and feel with only a few clicks. Now, these themes are actually designed by professional designers, hobbyists, just people who enjoy doing this thing. The nice thing about most of these themes is they're also free. So it's easy to pick up a new theme. Let's say that you want to make your site look a little more professional or you want to express yourself and be a little more creative. You do that through WordPress themes. Um, we talked a little bit before about the Kubrick theme, which is the default theme. This is the very boring kind of blue stripe theme that you see on most blogs. People like, when you have a blog, it's really about expressing yourself and your individuality, so you do that through a WordPress theme. Now, there's a few different options. Let's talk about this. It depends on really what kind of blog you have. If you're using a self-hosted blog, meaning you've installed it on your own server, you actually can go out to what they call the theme directory. Let's take a look at that really quick. If you go and you Google just WordPress themes, you'll, get, you'll see this is the first result. Now, these are a free theme directory. There's 1,200 themes in here, which is obviously a lot. Uh, you can look. There's they sort them by most popular. They give you some indication of what's new. You can also search. So maybe I want to type in blue because I'm interested in a blue theme. They'll come up with anything that has blue as a tag or as a description. Um, now, the way that these themes work is you actually access them and you download the theme. Now, if you're dealing with your self-hosted, that means you have to download the theme and you have to update, you have to upload the theme into the themes folder under WordPress. Let's also talk, though, maybe you're just doing the WordPress.com, the free hosted account that they offer. They actually make it a little bit easier, so you don't have to worry about uploading files and so forth. Let's take a look at how they actually manage that. When you're in your dashboard, go down to the bottom on the left and click on where it says Appearance. Now, when you click on a, Appearance, actually, it shows you the themes kind of landing page. They call this Manage Themes. You'll notice there's a lot of options here. Once again, we have a search field here, so we could type in something that we are looking for. Nice quick refresh. We also have some sorting here, A to Z, popular, recently added. Let's take a look at popular, actually. Let's see what's actually doing well here. All right, let's say that I like this theme. I can actually, if I want to, I can actually do a preview just to see what that'll look like. What's nice is it'll actually do a preview with my theme and with my content. So notice we have that custom header that I put in here. Talks about this, all the about information and the post that I have in here as well. If I don't like it, I can just hit close. Let's take a look at another one. Just give it a second. Okay, let's say that I actually do like this theme. I can actually activate it right from here. And you do that in the very top right corner where my mouse is. You click on activate. And that's it. The theme is actually live on your site. If you go to view it, You can see it right there. So that's how you use WordPress themes. It's quick and easy. You won't lose any of your content. You won't lose blog posts. If you've done some custom work in the right rail, you'll maintain that as well. It's a quick and easy way to add a new look to your WordPress theme. If you want to learn more about WordPress, please check out any of these videos available here.